Hey y'all, happy holidays. So you know what we're here for, right? You see the title, right? Yes, we are doing Vlogmas. Now let me be honest, I have avoided Vlogmas my whole entire life on YouTube. <laughs> but somehow, some way, we felt led to do Vlogmas this year. So here we are, the God Bolts doing Vlogmas. We will be posting a new video every day at 7 p.m. Central Time. Set your timer, set a little reminder on your phone, okay? Put us on your schedule this month, okay? Can that be my Christmas gift from you? Like, that's on my list. That's all I want from, well, not Santa, because Santa ain't real, but. I hope to see y'all this month here on the channel. We have so much to tell y'all. <laughs> We have so much to talk about. Uh, y'all, at this point, y'all didn't see me give birth, okay? We are past the guest in my home stage, okay? So come on in. Join us. Spend time this month with the goddess. And that's the plank. Actually, it's even bigger. I mean, a plank is long. A plank is I like mean, a... Clearly, a plank is a plank. Like, it's a long board. Long board. So we can even say this is... The, the this table, table is the is plank. The plank. And the air pie is, is the dust. spec, right? The, well, yeah, this is the sawdust. How long does it take to get something that small out your eye? You just grab it. Quick, right? Yeah. How long would it take to get this plank out your eye? Oh, it's going to take two people. It's going to take strength. It's going to take... No. What do you mean? It's all about the time. What do you mean? So, the spec quest quick. But I don't have time to take your spec out because I'm too busy. Oh, moving the plank. Moving the plank. Right. So right. he used those things to show right. this take a whole lot of time. Like, they're not even in the same and playing effort, field. Uh, and effort. And it's in you. Right. So, if you working on the plank... The same energy you put into the speck of somebody else's, if you use that energy to take the plank out of yours, you're not gonna have energy left even to remove a speck out of somebody else's. You ain't gonna have the energy. You ain't gonna have the energy. <laughs> Cause you, <sighs> they don't, yeah. they don't measure. Yeah. So he's saying the reason why you can't judge somebody else is because you got a whole, we're forever sinners. Right. Forever. Right. I don't care how much church you go to, I don't care how much prayer you do. Every man and woman and child walking this earth will sin until the day Jesus returns. Period. Period. So since that's an ongoing thing, guess what else is ongoing? Repentance. Mm -hmm. Guess what else is ongoing? Doing the work, relationship. Right. So if I'm doing all of those things, where do I have the time to judge you? Right. On, on my own. Like, it's, it's a different thing if we're in community and we are communing and we are we're, opening we're up, we're confessing and we're yes, saying, hey, yes. community, I For need... For love and support yes. and good deeds. Tell me what I should... people that, yes, that's not church. Right. Church is, most people in there don't want to be there. <laughs> they... Sinning even crazier. They're saying one thing to you and looking this way, but on the inside, they're broken and yeah. torn up and disgusted. They're heathens trying to help heathens. That's not like community. Right. Period. Just because you're a Christian don't mean you're a good person. Yeah. Just because you're a Muslim don't mean you're a bad person. Right. So. It's about your heart posture. This idea that because I go into a building, somehow, some way. I'm more fit for God. Because I physically show up every Sunday. It ain't about that. It, it ain't not. about that. Nope. You can come, you can go to church all the time, every day, but if your heart. Your heart wrong. If you, ain't, if you don't have a relationship with God, not with the building, not with getting flaws so people can see my outfit, mm -hmm. not to, to, I'm talking about myself. I'm talking to the girl I got a crush on. The girl that I'm 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 downstairs fondling in Bible study. Like, 
going to church for all of, I want going to church for God, especially when my parents were forcing me to go. If I had my way, I used to sleep in church. My mom used to make that stand. Once I got to a certain age, like past sleeping age, like, bro, get up. She used to make us stand all service. We'd be the only ones at certain parts standing. Mm -hmm. Not because I felt the spirit, but because I was going to go to sleep if I right. sat down. Right, right. Bobbing me with a dollar to go across the street to the candy house and get some candy out of the church. Like, that type of stuff. Yeah. But there was no emphasis on relationship. Right. There was no emphasis on go home and get in your word, spend time with God, Monday through Saturday. If all I need for my whole week is, is one potential encounter with God at church on Sunday, we're doing this wrong. Because the world that we live in, you need every single day. You know, you know now, the difference between the everyday walk versus the well, I got time today, so I'm, I'm going to jump in. You don't know until <laughs> you really start to operate differently because I'm not going to lie to you, babe. Like, I <laughs> I struggle still. Like, I really, yeah, really, really struggle yeah. with just being consistent. I understand. Yeah. At the same time, I see now because I've done the consistency that I can do and I've had you here like helping me, I see the difference. I can actually recognize the choice that I have. Like when I feel like irritated or I feel like combative or I feel like, you know, that fire like steam up in me, I feel like I, I have a choice now. I felt like, I think before, I never, I was so used to operating in my natural, like physical self yeah. that I didn't realize that I had a choice the whole time. The whole time. Like you don't have to like lash out when you, you feel hurt you or attacked. You actually do not have to. You don't. Yet when we don't know mm -hmm. how to shift the course to like change course to reroute like, what was, what were we talking about the other day where I was like, that's a hard reroute. That's going to take a long time. But like, it was something with you. Like you said that you did something and you're, tr you're currently working on trying to make yourself do something else that you know is better for you. Like you have a natural inkling to go this way. I forget. I remember the conversation. But it was I like forgot a, what it was about. I can't remember what, but the whole the concept was like a lot of like what is in the Bible feels like a hard reroute, like a hard reroute it, from like because it is well now because it is and like and it's one you have to God, constantly be doing like but that's why oof. the the relationship well yeah that's why the relationship is key. Because, yes, what, what God, what Jesus is asking us to do is hard. Right. It's against the grain. Yeah. It's sometimes lonely. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. And it's downright hard. Period. Because we're going against our emotions. We're going against natural inklings. Yeah. We're going against those things. And God is asking us to do something different. The reason why he can ask us to do something different is not because of us, but because of him. So what he's asking to do, he knows you can't do this without me. Right. Right. He knows that. <laughs> That's why we need He him. knows people crazy. He so you're not going to be able to uh, speak love uh, to them crazy people. But I need you to because that's how they're going to see me. You're not going to, sometimes, yes, you're going to want to judge. You're going to want to make somebody feel away because they're not doing something the way you want them to do it. But that's when you get at to me because right. I'm going to exchange that with the grace that you need to show them so that they can make the right decision for them. Right, right. Because I don't know nobody, no situation, never seen it happen where guilt tripping got someone to change their mind. It makes, <laughs> it actually hardens them like, more. I don't when know church why. folks are coming to me and say certain things, it's like, you think that you come up, 
My mama was like, um, people used to ask, like, where you been? Huh? You don't know what? You don't know my life? You don't know what I've, what I've been dealing with at home? So the Bible says, greet people with a hug and a holy kiss. Not with you picking and pecking, trying to judge and right. see what I've been to get in my business. Right. The Bible don't say to mind my business. Right. At all. So if you really care, want to show people love and grace, it's not where you've been. Hey, I miss you. I hope everything's okay. Um, can I give you a hug? How are you? Not where you been. Not why you ain't coming to church last week. Right. Well, you missed. Well, you, you missed. No, I missed nothing because guess what? God God's presence is here. Everywhere. He's omnipresent. He's not limited to a building. No, no. But if we're not careful, we can limit him to a building. Right. Like, I'm only talking to God when I walk into that. Oh, I can't wait to get to church. I, I used to say stuff like that. I used to be like, I, I can't wait to get to church on Sunday because I just need, and it's Tuesday. So what you going to do from so Tuesday to Sunday? Struggle and be down on myself and hang on to the rope and can't wait to get to Sunday? No. I can raise my hand right there and say, God, I need you right here right now. Yeah. God, please, please change this. God, I'm nothing without you. In my house. Right then and there. And given that I'm in my house, more than I'm in the church, wouldn't it be better for God to be with me if he's going to be with me anywhere? Wouldn't it be better if he was with me here? Right. <laughs> so I can experience more of right. his presence? Right. 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 And I feel I, like yeah, this. I, <laughs> there are times where being in a place that has been prayed over that has been filled with with the spirit that has been you can feel that and i think that that's what people really are gravitated towards when they go to church it's like when you walk into that holy place like you feel well you're supposed to you're feel supposed embraced to. you're supposed to feel safe you're supposed to feel like like okay, better than I better mean, than how i feel out there right but normally that's not the case. But the reality is it's not the case. Because <laughs> the same people that's in there are out in the world giving hell. Yeah. So just because you walk in church, you don't walk. Church ain't like walking through, uh, not church, because church is a human. That's another thing they keep getting the wrong. The building. The building. To, to the building folk, you would think that when you walk through the doors of church, Jesus' blood is like an ever-flowing stream <laughs> that runs down. So you walk through and you Cut get drenched, cut in the blood, and you walk up and you're just right. a totally different person. Right. If that happened, most people that go to church wouldn't go to church. Let's be honest. So I can go to church and the perception is, oh, because I'm dressed nicely, because I'm not wearing a hat, because that's another conversation that everybody going crazy about. Oh, we're wearing hats in church. They ain't got no respect. So... You with your suit on, your eight-piece suit, and your um, buckle shoes with your, your church socks somehow have um, a, a more of God's attention mm -hmm. than me in my crop crew neck snapback and edge of Right. Somehow, God sees both of those people only the outward appearance because he don't care about the inside. Right. <laughs> God don't care about the inside. God cares about the way you look on the outside. So look, I'm looking at your outside appearance and saying, hmm, uh, I don't think they're worthy of a miracle today. Um, if they go back home and put on a suit, <laughs> if they go back home and put on a suit, then they're good, they should come back and I'll have their miracle. I'll have their birthday waiting for them. Huh? Jesus, one of the reasons why Jesus came back was to show people um, while y'all down here Worry about y'all works, your good deeds mm -hmm. on surface, mm -hmm. your outward appearance. Mm -hmm. God is looking at what's in there. Yeah. Like, yeah, like you, you can hide what's in there. From people. From their constituents. Yeah. Right. And we've learned to do it even so well. It's, it's I'm talking about like now you can put on something. And you throw on your cologne and you like, yeah, I'm about to, yeah. You can't tell how broken I am. Nope. You have to pry oh. and 
and un and peel the layers back and put some dynamite on there and step back and press. Like you oh, <laughs> exhibit A and exhibit B. We've done it. Like we we we've gotten to the points mm. in life where it's like mm. we putting on all this but this 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 like spirit of perfection because like we're trying to cover up, to cover up the stuff really in going here on. that is not up. right. Mm -hmm. So we look around us and we say, Oh, well, nice clothes mean you're a good person and, and relationships nice. and who I'm tied to and all of that. And it's like, yeah, don't don't if you have access to things, don't dress and be any kind of way. No, don't walk in church set. Like, yeah, don't, don't. We know. We know what those, those, those boundaries are. We understand very well. The Bible, my mom always said, the Bible is clear. Even the kid can understand it. But when you form your own theory in your mind, and then you go to the word to confirm what you already thought. That's the disconnect. Yeah. Cause to your point, we've done it all. I I've done it all on the, the church building, the churchy circuit, dressing up and you doing all the things to mask what's really going on. Yeah. Did it in the world. Yeah. I, I look, some of the stuff that these people are trying to do culturally, I'm like, look, let me say you some of some of the headache. Been there, done that. I've been in the rooms, I've had the drinks with the people, I've taken the trips. I've been behind closed doors. I've right. been a part of a secret conversation. I've been, I, I, I've done it. Mm -hmm. People are giving me sneakers now. I, 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 I've done it. And it's not. I've been it, in the culture. And it's not like. <laughs> we about to get in our devotion. About to get in our that devotion. That wasn't even our devotion. That wasn't even our devotion. It just been like heavy, yo, because it's just like. So much misinformation and out of context scripture coming out. And it's just like, look, whatever. Like have your own interpretation. But the way you live is all that's needed. We hit a fish for people. And if I'm living any kind of way and my life is no better than theirs, why would they want to follow Christ? My actions, the way I live, the way my family is, the the all of the things contribute to why you would look at my life and see God and want that for yourself. And if, if I'm not doing that, I don't care how much church I go to. I don't care how much Bible I read. It don't matter. It does not matter. Get it. 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 Get it.